Uh, hello, this is RJ Dent. I'm in my library and today I'm going to be talking about an author I admire very much. His name is um, Hunter S. Thompson, uh, the author of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, uh, Generation of Swine, Rum Diary, recently made into a film with uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, anyway, we'll come to those in a minute. So first of all then, I've got um, a book about Hunter S. Thompson by E. Jean Carroll, The Strange and Savage Life of Hunter S. Thompson, just called Hunter. Very good, very informative. Um, e. Jean Carroll went and stayed in Hunter S. Thompson's house uh, with him for a while and um, got to know him and then wrote the book based on the notes from that. So that's a very good entertaining read. Um, now what we've got here then is um, Hell's Angels Strange and Terrible Saga I believe is the subtitle. Let me just have a look at that. Hell's Angels. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, that's strange. Anyway, um, Hell's Angels by Hunter S. Thompson. And again, in typical Hunter S. Thompson style, what he did was he went and stayed with the Hell's Angels for a while and observed their rituals, their behaviour, their, the way they spent their time, their motorbikes, and their attitude toward each other. And um, then he wrote this book. It's a very powerful expose of the Hell's Angels. Uh, lifestyle. Uh, a lot of the motorcycle outlaws didn't like the book when it came out because it painted them in a not very flattering light. But there we are. That's Hell's Angels. Um, a very good read. Uh, the next one is um, this one here. The one that I suppose that Hunter S. Thompson is known for. It's his his classic, if you like, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas incredibly good piece it's a piece of journalism but it's it's almost like reading a novel it's done it's it's journalism with hunter s thompson in the middle of the story so he puts himself in his own uh, writing and it's an, a very uh, powerful and entertaining book uh, made into a film with uh, johnny depp starring as hunter s thompson um directed by R Directed by Terry Gilliam, if I remember correctly. Anyway, a really good, uh, really good book to read. Now the next one is um, Fear and Loathing on the Campaign Trail. So what happened was following Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, um, Hunter S. Thompson decided to uh, fix all of his attention on the um, campaign trail of the 1972 political bid for um, presidency, and he followed, oh, hang on, who was this one? This was uh, uh, Hunter S. Thompson followed George McGovern and Richard Nixon's campaign for the presidency of the United States in 1972. He returned burned out, exhausted and cynical <laughs> to bring us this book. So you get the, the whole backstage, if you like, of that uh, political campaign. Okay, and it's uh, it's an incredibly entertaining and very funny read. Right, now this one, um, as you can see there, the first British publication of The Great Shark Hunt. Now, this is a collection, if you like, this is the best of Hunter S. Thompson. And it's got some, it's got the... Um, the Kentucky Derby which is a very famous piece of journalism um, so let's have a look what we've got in here then um, so uh, the Richard Nixon doll the McGovern juggernaut yeah so that's from the political um, campaign that I just told you about um, the Kentucky Derby is decadent and depraved yeah fear and loathing in the bunker fear and loathing at the Super Bowl there's some really nice pieces of journalism in here, um, and it, yeah, I mean, it's it, yeah. If you want a best of, get this because it is. There's some fantastic pieces in there, and then we've got um, the Gonzo Papers, 
Um, I haven't got all of them yet. Uh, we'll look at the first one. Generation of Swine. Gonzo Papers, Volume 2, Tales of Shame and Degradation in the 80s. Alright, and then so what happens in this one? What have we got here? Again, this is a sort of a collection of journalistic pieces, and they're all, they're all, again, it, it's, it's such a good stylist, and he's got a very good eye for detail. Uh, this one here, uh, Songs of the Doomed, Gonzo Papers, Volume 3, another lovely, um, a lovely book with so many fantastic things in it. Tarred and Feathered at the Jersey Shore, that's great. Um, extract from the Rum Diary, which we can have a look at in a minute. The Kennedy Assassinations, Hell's Angels, Ken Kesey, um, Pieces on LSD. Uh, then the political uh, pieces again, Vegas Witch Hunt, um, yeah there's just so many, oh, sorry I was just getting, letter to Ralph Steadman, a letter to Ken Kesey, this is, um, yeah these are all really good, I mean you know, the, he's, a, he's a fantastic author, um, he really is, and then finally we've come, we come to, uh, just not been issued that long, uh, the Rum Diary, um, again made into a film with um, Johnny Depp. Uh, Johnny Depp apparently was a friend of Hunter S. Thompson's. So anyway, uh, uh, a novel, Hunter S. Thompson's novel, which is basically he goes to. Um, it's a character called Paul Kemp goes to Puerto Rico to work for a newspaper, and it's just that period of time spent there and it's funny it's sad it's it's very good if you know in a way it makes you wish that Huntress Thompson had written more novels although arguably that's all he did write and that is um, that so far is the works I have of Hunter S. Thompson in my library an author I'm really proud to have